Hi guys, welcome to Empower and my name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video for Motivation Monday, I'm going to have a motivating tip for you and that is going over, for lack of a better term, screw perfectionism. So one of the things that really surprises me is just how insecure people are about their capabilities. And so I meet a lot of people that ask me questions like, how do you make videos or how do you write books, write blogs, or anything like that? Which I don't necessarily write a blog, just in case you're looking for my blog. Uh, my blogs are usually just in my email, which if you wanna join my email list, look below. There's always a link below where you can join the email list, which will give you basically automatic, instant notifications of when a video is posted, and I also um, add more details than I would in the videos as well. So anyways, what really surprises me though is that people want everything to be perfect perfect and by trying to make everything perfect they don't do anything so what I've really realized and one of my I guess reasons why I'm able to get a lot done is because I'm okay with doing the best I can and then what's good enough is good enough you know like we'll we'll do a lot of you know I'll do a lot of prior preparation and I will do a lot of review afterwards to see how I can make things better but in the meantime I'll get things done to the best of my ability and let it go. <laughs> Release it to the world. As you can see, a lot of my videos are not perfect. I don't speak perfectly a lot of times. And yet I find people that I think would look better on camera than me and have so much more knowledge than me. And they don't, you know, they don't have the confidence to make the videos because they think that they're gonna make too many mistakes. And so, so I wanted to take this second to just tell you to, you know, over the next seven days or something like that, do your best to not be a perfectionist and to just get results, you know, get things done and to not go back. You know, like I know a lot of nursing students that, you know, will study their absolute hardest and then they go back and then they change a lot of their answers to the wrong answers. You know, that's a perfectionist mentality, you know, not thinking that you had the right one, you have to go back and change things. Or if you're a nurse, sometimes you just can't do everything for everybody and if one patient's family member is upset you don't have to dwell on it you know that's a perfectionist um, trait where you feel like you had to do it all you had to do everything and then you know things didn't work out the way you wanted it to and you're dwelling on it like don't dwell on it you know learn the lesson and just move on also with writing so writing is one thing that people can really get obsessive about because there's a lot of room for improvement for most people especially me <laughs> So for me, when I was writing my first book, um, I had an interesting experience. I spent about a year and a half writing my first book, which was How to Succeed in Nursing School. And I have to say, it was pretty good. Like I had my parents both read it. Um, they are very good at writing and grammar. And not only did they read it, we all read it multiple times. So the book was actually in pretty good shape. But for my own confidence and to make sure I put a quality product out in the market, I hired an editor. And the editor, which I'll never do this again I did pay her up front which was silly I know I should have just given like a portion and whatever she told me she read like the first I don't know how much she read but she said that you know she read a little bit and she said that this would take her about two months I'm like perfect so two months go by and I'm like okay great like I'm sure she's like done so I'm checking my email you know ex expecting to receive the book and after three days I don't receive it so I email her I'm like how are things going feel free if you need a little bit more time blah 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 and she emails me back and she's like I'm finding so many mistakes I'm only on the the second chapter and and, you know, I was just kind of thinking, I was like, is that really possible? Like, okay, fine. I'm not the best writer. I know that. But I, I'm having a hard time believing this story. So anyways, long story short, she never fully gives me the manuscript. She gave me at most half. She completely changed the tone of my voice in the book. And I wasn't feeling that good about it. So then I hired another editor. And I told her, I was like, you know, I'm just looking for someone to make sure all the grammar, pronunciation, and everything makes sense um, but I want to keep my voice so you know don't go into it with too much detail so I sent it to her within a month she had it back to me and she was like this is great and so I read it and it was just it was really really nice and so I realized that the first editor got like nothing done because she was trying to make it 
perfect and perfect in her standards. So the second editor had it back to me like before I was even expecting it. So sometimes with writing, you just have to put it out there. And you know, if you want to start a blog or if you want to, you know, start writing something, a book or anything, it's it's really easy to take forever. I mean, you can literally take 30 minutes on three words. It's incredible how that happens. Like it's a very like time consuming um, <laughs> thing to do. So, you know, when you are in that creative flow, just let it flow. Don't think too much about it and put it out there for the world and see what happens, you know, and you might be pleasantly surprised. And of course, you're going to have a few people that point out where you made a mistake and you just say, okay, thank you so much. And you fix it. And then you learn from that. And that's it. So I think, you know, being a perfectionist is good because you think a lot, but instead maybe change your perception of yourself to a doer, somebody that gets stuff done. And that's how I view myself and it's helped me out quite a bit. So I hope you like this tip for Motivation Monday. If there's anything that you want to get started, I hope you get started and you finish at least the first um, project very soon. So all right, guys, I will see you next Monday for another motivational tip. And I can't wait until then. I love you so much. Bye. Let's stay connected, guys. No matter where you are in the world, join me here every Monday at 6.30 a.m. Eastern time for the weekly nursing pre-huddle before your regular huddle. This will help you start your week off on the right note. Also, get email notifications as soon as the videos are published. By joining my email list, you will receive 25% discount on my best-selling books. The first book, How to Succeed in Nursing school has been called the best nursing school preparation guide for thousands of students just like you. Many say it's a must read before entering nursing school. In this book, I share how I went from a very average student to graduating nursing school with honors. It also includes tips on how to choose your nursing school, how to be successful in nursing school, and how to stay motivated and driven while in nursing school. The second book, New Nurse, How to Get, Keep, and Love Your Nursing Job, is an outstanding book to help nurses start their careers on the right foot or rekindle their love for nursing. We all join this profession for altruistic reasons, but sometimes the stress of the job has us beaten down. This book, I promise, will help you reignite your love for the amazing work you do. And finally, by joining, you will also have access to a 40% discount for my How to Study for Anatomy and Physiology program. In this program, I share how I went from a C average student to two semesters later was on the Dean's List. I've shared these tips with thousands of other students and they have phenomenal results. Click here for information on how to join my email list. And oh yeah, make sure you subscribe to the channel also. I'll see you guys next week. Love you. Bye.